Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Dan the man coming at you from the 60s Rule Channel. And uh, before we continue with this video, I want to introduce a new member of the crew over here. That's uh, Octopussy. And uh, yes, hey, say hi to everybody, Octopussy here. Wave one of your tentacles. There, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I could use him around a shop because uh, with eight arms, he can multitask, you know. So uh, yeah, glad to have you on board, man. All right, guys, on to the build here. Remember what we started with over here, guys? Got this uh, Greyhound bus, 1947 Greyhound. And, uh, yeah, it was a, definitely a challenge, but, uh, you know, you know us over here at the shop, man, we like to uh, think outside the box, you know. We do things a little different over here. <laughs> All right, guys, without further ado, let's bring her over here. Yeah, I think I'm calling this one done, you know. Uh, there's a couple of minor things I got to do to it, but uh, I, I'm happy the way she turned out, though. You know, uh, after working on this thing for a month, man, but it was definitely wor worth it, I, I tell you. It was definitely worth the time, you know. So, uh, yeah, we got her all done, and uh, I just got done putting the mirrors on. I don't even want to touch it. I hope nothing falls off. <laughs> and... Uh, the only issue that I had uh, doing this, well, I didn't have an issue with the bodywork, obviously. That was, you know, uh, you know, pre-planned and everything. But uh, this door over here, it's supposed to swing in and out like this, right? It's got a little hinge on the inside of it. But uh, when I uh, fit it against the, um, let me position a little better there. When I fit it against the body, right, before I put on the chassis, it fit perfectly. As soon as I put the body on the chassis, nothing lined up right. It will not close. I didn't want to force it because I got all that paint work done on there and all the chrome work. And uh, I didn't want to force it any way. So I'm just going to pose this guy, you know, in the, uh, the open position. So that's the way I'm going to display it like that. So anyway, you'll be able to see the interior. A little bit so uh yeah i gotta get that position better but uh other than that i mean uh everything fit very well you know parts that i you know had to put together uh you know the way the instructions uh suggested and uh you know and i did other modifications too but uh you know <laughs> so uh i got this uh nice to me a red over here on the cab and um we did uh some more to me a white in the front over here you can see that we got that done over there and this door is funky but uh hey what are you gonna do right i'll fix that later <laughs> so uh yeah and then uh, this all that was done here i sprayed that with a molotov refill and that came out pretty nice came out like this polished aluminum i'm really happy with that and uh the photo wedge parts that came with this kit actually you're supposed to put a decal over it, but i like that and i'll show you uh i'm gonna flip this around and i'll show you those other photo wedge parts, why I kept it like that, that little, like, uh, that copper finish on it. I really like that. It's like a silhouette, you know. I was going to put the decal on it, but I like that very much, and I'm going to keep it like that. So, uh, all right, let's uh, turn it around to the other side like this, and I'll show you. See, all the grates over here, that's just a photo etch. Uh, it's not painted or anything, just, just a plain photo etch, you know. And I think that came out really nice, you know. So we got that going on there, and uh, let's see, oh, and then we got the uh, ramp system here. I'll show you in a bit, I'm going to put a car on there, so I'll pause it later, but it does, it does slide back and forth, and it comes all the way back this way. It comes back, it slides out, and it tips like that, and then you can load your vehicle on there, and then it slides back up this way, just like that. Now, a couple of guys suggested... You know, let me take this off the stand here. We get a better shot at this thing. This way you see what I'm talking about over here. Uh, let's let's get to the rear over here, the engine. Let, you know what? Let me take this off of here first. This way we can get a better view. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone suggested that I put a grate in the back, and I uh, took that suggestion, and we uh, got some mesh over there. And now the vent, it actually acts like a vent. And uh, let me get a, a little toothpick here. And it actually works pretty well. So let me see if I can do this for you. 
See, that flips up like that. So now we got engine access. And then we just flip it back down. And then the top, that's a glass right there. So we installed some, uh, it's not glued in, but so I can slide it in and out. I haven't glued it in yet. And then uh, we got some, oh, sorry about the glare. See, there is glass in there. <laughs> I scratch built that little electrical box there. And this, uh, this pump uh, right over there, that's an air compressor pump. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was actually supposed to go on the side by one of those vents over there. But I figured, hey, why not put it back there with the uh, other components, you know? And then I, I scratch built that uh, that hose. That's actually a piece of wire I found in my garage. Uh, it's right over here. It's, there's three. Uh, can you see that? There's three wires inside this hose over here. And it just happened to be the same diameter that I needed. So that worked out really well. So that, I came out really nice. I like that. So that's the back end. The only thing that I'm missing here is taillights. I got to figure that out. I've been going through my parts box. I found a couple of taillights that might work, but I have to put taillights in. But uh, that that's really about it. It's uh, it's all complete. So, and uh, let's see. Let's go back over there in the front. Yeah, we've got all the glass in there. That that was fun. <laughs> There is an interior, but you're really not going to see much of it. If you want to see the interior, you can go back to my uh, previous video. I don't know if you're going to see that or not. There are seats in there. I don't know, I'm getting a lot of glare. Can you see the seating in there, guys? Yeah. And then uh, the decals on this kit are very fragile. I mean, there's supposed to be a message board up there. I still have to put something in there. I think I want to type something myself on my computer. But I managed to get the uh, license plate in the front there without cracking. They were very brittle. So, uh... all right, guys, you know what I'm going to pause it right here and we'll put a car on there and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, guys and gals, I'm back. Uh, yeah, we got a car loaded up on there. We got the old 60 vet on there. She looks really sharp sitting on this uh, hauler here, man. <laughs> It, it will fit, this track here will fit most 30-second scale cars. There are some that are a little wider that won't fit, and this one actually rolls, so you can see it fits right in the track over there. And this thing will slide out with the car, so it'll slide all around and tip back, and, uh, well, I showed you that before, so. Yeah, I, I, I'm really happy with this thing, man. I'm lo I love the way it turned out, so. Uh, and like I said, there's just a few things I got to do. With it. so I got this one strip of uh, uh, L-channel over here. That's actually going to go on both sides. There's a, there's a seam over here on the track system. I'm going to try to cover that up. So that's going to go. Uh, oh, here we go. I got a left and a right. I mixed them up, dummy. <laughs> yeah, so that one's going to go on there like that. And then uh, the other one is going to go. This guy over here is going to go on the uh, opposite side. And I'll probably uh, prime it and I'll paint it red like this. So it'll be a nice... Uh, Nice feature there. So uh, that's basically all I got to do to this thing. And, uh, yeah, we're calling her done. So uh, there she is, man. 1947 Greyhound Custom Hauler. Yeah. So uh, you know what? Uh, let's talk a little bit about the kit over here. Now, the kit, uh, it's not for the faint of heart, okay? Uh, I would not not recommend that to anyone unless they got about a dozen kits under their belt because... Uh, First of all, they're small parts, okay? If, uh, you know, you wanted to build this as a stock bus, you know, you, uh, you're talking 360 parts, you know? So I probably used maybe, uh, probably about uh, maybe 270, I think it was, because <laughs> I didn't put all the seats in there. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely, uh, wouldn't tackle this unless you had a lot of experience, you know, prior to this. And, uh but I tell you, if you're looking for a challenge, though, I'm telling you, this is it right here, man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but uh, all the pieces went together nice. They're, they're very well detailed. You know, the road end kits are very well detailed. There's like zero flash, no flash. And, you know, there were some party lines to deal with, but that's okay. You know, we're modelers. You know, we can handle it, right? But uh, it's a really nice kit, though. But like I said, if uh, <laughs> you're looking for a challenge, <laughs> here you go, man. But I uh, really like the way this came out. Really nice. We'll give, it another, we'll give it a little 360 over here. 
And uh, you know what, guys? Uh, stick around to the end of the video. They're going to do a little slideshow of this thing, all right? So uh, remember, guys, ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> guys, take care, be safe, and keep on building.